Hey what's up guys, Thruel here back with another video and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this soft light effect which makes images look really gorgeous. So let's get started. So as you guys can see my image is already up inside Photoshop and if you want you can go to file and open any image you want. Now if you want to use the same image for the practice, uh, it's from eventart.com and the download link is in description so feel free to use that. Now let's go and look at the final output. So this is my original file and the final output and I'm going to use this file as a reference so we can go faster and I don't screw up things here and there. So let's look at the original image and first of all I'm going to use a curves layer to get rid of the, that red color, the red toning we have in the image. So let's go here and create a new layer, adjustment layer for the curves. In the curves, to remove the red, uh, first of all, go and select the reds. And then I'm going to pull this slider a bit here, uh, not way too much, otherwise it will start adding cyan color. So maybe 8, uh, I think I remember the number. So 8 is fine, uh, use as much amount as it pleases you, so nothing is <laughs> compulsory. And let's go back and see, uh, look at other adjustments. So I have boosted a bit of contrast in it. So let's go here and go to RGB and then I'm going to add slightly contrast in, in here to boost it. So that looks kind of a fine. It doesn't have to be accurate, but we just need some contrast, so focus on that. And that looks fine. So first step is clear. Uh, so now we have selective colors and if you look at we have added some blues and uh, uh, other stuff. So yellows and then a bit of a changes in blacks and uh, another is neutrals. So let's start with the yellows and let's go back and create another adjustment layer for selective, cur uh, selective colors. And in the yellows I'm gonna add a bit of a yellow. So that looks fine. Now let's go to the neutrals. And in the neutrals, let's go here and see, we have plus 13 in the blacks. So let's add 13 in the neutrals. So it will give that boost uh, in the highlight parts, uh, so we do not lose the contrast. And now let's go back to the blacks. And here is minus 14 and minus 8. So here is minus 14. And let's go and put it minus 8. Oops. Minus 8. So that looks fine. So what it does is it, it will add a bit of a blues in the shadows and it will also decontrast the shadows so we will get that particular look we are looking for. Now let's go back and create this really beautiful lights. Uh, now to create this one, uh, I have this color already here, A67405, I will put it on big, uh, in numbers in editing. So you have to do is just create a new layer and I'm gonna name it light and then just start painting with the color. Uh, you don't have to follow exact code, it just ha has to be a dark oranges and first of all you have to <laughs> select a brush not the eraser so that you can paint. So I'm gonna put some drops here and there and slide bit over here uh, and then change the blend mode to the soft light and then decrease the opacity as it finds to. Uh, instead of soft light let's uh, focus on screen because that was actually the blend mode I was using but I just forgot. So let's look at the opacity. So it's 51 so that we can blend it better and let's make it 51. Okay that looks fine. And then uh, let's paint a bit here and if you think that it is way too much on her face just directly erase it. Uh, it doesn't matter. If you want you can paint it again anytime you want. So that looks uh, really better. Now let's go and create another adjustment layer. So I'm going to show you how to create this vignetting. Now there are plenty ways to create vignetting. So I'm going to show you another one. So it's solid color. You just have to create a new solid layer. Put it on soft light mode. And then and then in the mask, uh, select a really big black brush. Uh, really, really big. And the light is coming from here. So I'm going to uh, just click once here and then multiple times. So that looks fine. And now decrease the opacity like uh, maybe uh, 40% that looks fine <laughs> we can go back and check it out so it's uh, let's say 50% okay so let's make it 50% so as you can see it is really fast way to create vignetting and it also looks really natural uh, then let's see what else we have so it is a gradient layer and uh, let me show you put it on normal mode and in, uh, make the opacity 100% so as you can see it's a normal black gradient um, so create a new adjustment layer and I'm gonna select gradient and in the gradient, uh, you have this option, foreground to transparent. So instead of this yellow color, uh, whatever color you have, make this black, hit OK, uh, hit OK, and again hit OK, and change the blend mode to soft light, and then decrease the opacity to maybe 50% or something. Uh, let's go again and check it out. 
so as you can see let's make it 50 or I'm just gonna press ctrl Z so we can see all the hard work okay it's 50% uh, 49 that sums up everything now uh, uh, for the contrast and some color punching so this is really simple method create a new blank layer and then you have to press all this four key Control alt shift and E and it will create a JPG inside Photoshop and then change the blend mode to soft light and then decrease the opacity to zero and then start coming back up until it looks uh, enough for you so let's go back and see the opacity 647 uh, okay we were not uh, very far that looks fine and then create a layer mask select a brush and decrease the opacity to maybe let's say 20 percent and then erase it from this part uh, with black color whereas uh, it is way too much dark so you can have proper output uh, I don't know what, how to explain it uh, now so whatever makes sense to you now the color balance to give it that really yellowish feel so let's go and select, uh, see what we have so in the shadows nothing in the midtones plus 4 to the red and minus 70 so let's go here and create a new adjustment layers and select color balance and in the midtone it was plus 4 so a bit of a red and then go to highlights and minus 17 so it will simply add uh, that uh, yellow boost in the image uh, and then uh, let's see what else we have so it is to give that brightness into the light so create another adjustment layers press ctrl alt shift e so it will create a jpg and then let's uh, go to filter blur i use this method a lot in my tutorials uh, if you have seen others you are quite familiar with it so 86 it should be really blurry so much that we cannot see her properly then hit ok and then change the blend mode to simply screen and then decrease the opacity to maybe like 20 percent uh, then uh, hold your alt key and apply layer mask so it will hide everything and then paint with white color only in this area and make sure opacity is 100% uh, if you're new to masking and you are confused uh, don't worry ask me in the comments I will help you out so that looks kind of a fine uh, bit of a glow in the light and then let's go back and create another adjustment to give that blue feeling so in the midtones it's plus 9 in the shadows plus 48 and in the highlights minus 7 so let's start with the shadows so create another adjustment layers and go to selective colors oops <laughs> wrong one uh, go and select color balance and in the color balance let's go to the shadows and plus 47 okay that looks fine uh, and check off this prism luminosity and you will be good to go so if you turn it on and off you can see and then in the midtones uh, a bit of a blue not way too much uh, maybe nine it was the number i guess and then a bit of a yellows in the highlights to make uh, so I'll make it a bit balanced so that looks good now another adjustment layers and this is to blur out and make that background really like dreamy or soft look I don't know what to say but it looks really good when you do it so again create a new layer and press ctrl alt shift e and then let's go to filter blur and gosh and blur and apply a lot of blur okay that looks fine hit ok and then do nothing just decrease the opacity to maybe let's say 30 percent seem, uh, seems fine to me apply layer mask select a black brush and remove it from her face so we can see her properly and only background is blur it also gives kind of a depth i don't know but it looks uh, really good so that looks fine and you can also decrease the opacity if it doesn't work out for you so that looks uh, kind of a neat and then let's go back and create the final layer which is uh, this exclusion layer I'm going to show you what it does so first of all uh, let's go back and create a new solid layer and make it uh, uh, not completely black but kind of a black uh, very very near to the black hit ok and change the blend mode to uh, where is it exclusion and if you turn it on and off it gives it that hazy flat look which is quite popular and pe uh, people love it too now if you want to make this look stronger uh, go here and make it stronger the whiter the color the stronger the effect will be so I'm gonna make it really close to the black because we do not want a very strong effect so if you turn it on and off you can see the output and then you can decrease the opacity to make it um, blend it even better so that looks uh, really fine and you can also like uh, erase it from her face uh, using mask uh, 
so you can like make her in the focus and everything else in fade or his so that wraps up the tutorial i hope you learned something and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments uh, and if you actually did learn something hit that like button so i can know and also you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can get all of my future updates for my tutorials check out this other tutorials by tutorials junction till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop